Today on the pod, it's Nightmare on Mom Street. And today we are joined by Freddy Krueger herself, Crystal Method. So tuck yourself in real good and sleep with one eye open. Because we are about to enter your dreams with a little hall and, and closet. M. Oh. M. Mom. I know that's right. It's time for a Hall and the Closet. Welcome to Hall and Closet, the show where I, Jade Essence Hall, and I, Heidi in Closet, two authorities on absolutely everything. Okay, that was odd. Explain it all. <laughs> I almost forgot my name. You can think of us as two special investigators as we seek out the answers on everything you need to know from drag to love to science. To look at these lovely lashes on okay. Jada Essence Hall today. Aren't they just beautiful, sultry? Don't Heidi, we're not even going to talk about it right now because we're going to get into that. Thank you for the lashes. <laughs> Thank you for the lashes. Heidi Heidi provided me with lashes today. I'm late, y'all, because I didn't have my lashes. I couldn't find them in my luggage. And Heidi provided me with lashes. It's like but the also, y'all, I'm not wearing nails. Ugh. And I wanted to be, and Heidi told me not to. Well, oh, so, oh, so it's my fault and I, that Yeah, because she's not wearing nails, nails and I didn't want to make her feel bad. So, so it's my fault that you don't have nails on. I did Heidi, attack me. On. Attack me. Girl, I would This never. is not Zeus. Th- Zeus. Um... <laughs> Y'all, we have an insatiable curiosity, and we know you do too. So get ready to learn how all this works, mm-hmm. according to us at least. This is Hall, Hall and Closet. Closet. Boom. Heidi, I didn't want to fight with you, but. But you chose to fight with me. You I just did. wanted, because you called me out on the lashes. Well, I, I was giving you kudos on how lovely I, they looked. I knew on where you. it was going. I, I was not trying to achieve nothing. I was just pointing out that they looked good. No, no, you. I know where you were going. <laughs> that's where don't I was be, going. Don't, what is giving is that girl that okay, is like, girl. the girl that's like, girl, who are we going now? She's like, girl, you would be so cute in this dress. Try it on. And then when they're at the club, and they're like, girl, your dress look good. And she's like, it's mine. <laughs> that would, that was It's not- mine. That's my dress. I would never. That's what that just gave. I will give them back. Give them back then. Go ahead. After this. After this. Look, Heidi, you knew it would be a struggle today. It was a struggle today. This is the first time that we have been back in the studio after forever. And officially, this is like the first episode of our second half of the. Oh, yeah, we just got over half a year. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Stunning, yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you from the powers that may be that know how to move Jada oh, over. Oh my God, it just felt like us. <laughs> the, the, the Lord on. just moved you a little Lighting bit. Lighting on ice. It? God. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh so I, yes, Heidi. I know I, sh- just baby, I struggled this morning. I struggled. <laughs> I that shot. Let me tell you how. Me too. I, okay, so I woke up this morning. I love you, Ingrid. Um, <laughs> Our Lord and Savior, Ingrid. Mm. We love you so much. Yes, now. Um, <laughs> I woke up this morning and I had just gotten back from a Houston gig. Yes. And I I had I had I was running late to get yeah. to my uh, airplane, so I had to pack really fast so I get home. Was it what your flight or your airplane? Let's be very clear. Because <laughs> if was it my was plane. It, was it a jet or was it commercial? It was, I'm no Taylor Swift, so let me tell you, oh. it was. <laughs> it was <laughs> no climate criminal. No climate criminal. Right okay, here. got you. But um, no, so I I. I I made it on the airplane on time, so thank goodness. So I got up this morning. I was like, okay, I'm going to go paint now. Mm-hmm. I go to set out everything. I set up my bags of makeup. One, two, three. I grab the little towel that I do my makeup on. Oh, yep. four. And then I go to grab my makeup brush kit. I go. <gasps> oh, g- girl. Girl, girl, I no, they're gone. They're gone. I fully left them in Houston because I I remember taking them to the bathroom really fast because the lighting in the bathroom was really cute. So I was like, let me just yes. really fast. And I left them right there in Houston. They live there. All my Girl, brushes what, what live is in the, <laughs> what is, as, Do you think that's the worst thing you ever left somewhere that you, like you were in drag and you left somewhere? No, no. Much Girl, worse. What, what if, besides your dignity, what, <laughs> what, what is the worst thing you ever left somewhere? The worst thing I've ever left, oh God, um, 
Jesus. Uh, not Jesus. Not not. I didn't leave Jesus behind. Just <laughs> we know. Okay. Um, honestly, no. I would say probably my brushes. T. I it's, would. Say, it's been the worst experience. I had to finger paint today. Oh, you did? Yes, girl. Well, you look good. Smudging. You look good. Well, thank you. I couldn't even tell the difference. Go on, J- Jada. <laughs> just wh- how was your morning, Miss Lashless Wonder? Let me wonder? tell you the worst thing. The worst thing that I ever left somewhere was in Texas. I left my ass in the bathroom. Your whole, your, my whole, your whole my ass. Pads. Oh, bitch! I did do fully that on a tour. My pads. I, the War on the Catwalk tour this summer in the U.S. Oh my god! I fully got to North Carolina. Got ready. Was starting to get ready for the show. There's Thank nothing worse. Green- Thank God I was in Greensboro because I was in my suitcase like. I don't have nobody. Not a stitch. Nobody. And was on the first day of a tour that I was on for the rest yeah. of the I was like, oh, well, I just have nobody for this. What did you do? Tour. I was in Greensboro, which is where I started yeah. drag. My drag sister lived yeah. around the corner. I was like, hey, so can I borrow your pads for Baby, like let me tell a you week this. and a half for this Sometimes tour? you need your sister's ass. Girl, I had to wear my sister's Sometimes you want to wear your sister's ass out oh, to yeah. the club. <laughs> You gotta wear your sister's ass out. It, oh, wear it out, girl. Just wear it all out. That sounds suspicious, and I very suspicious. I feel a little broken. You know on what the they inside. say, sister. Make you. I don't think that's true, but we need to go to a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, welcome yep, back, uh-huh. <laughs> Jada. Yep. 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 I wanted to yep. take yep. that from you. Welcome back, y'all. Wow, we're back. The way she. D- welcome back to Hall and Closet. That was my line. I was supposed to say you that. can have it now. Or after you've used it, if you want it. Why? Oh, now that I, if I does, want it. Look, Heidi. It I was mine to, to have in first place. I, I wanted to take that because you got the nerve. I know you're very excited for our special guest. I am. I, re- I really am excited about this next. Yeah. This girl right here. We. We be having some good times. We've we've toured literally the world together. Oh my God, icons! Our good sister from season twelve, Crystal Method. Yes. yes. Hi, Holland Closeters. Oh, yeah. It's me, hey, Crystal. <laughs> Hello, Elder Barge. Look, you look so cute. First of all, this shirt is really cute. Every look at color. all the stripes, y'all. All the colors. It's so bright this morning. She. <laughs> It looks like Sesame Street. Oh my goodness! Right, sunshiny. Yeah. Which I remember. I really thought you were gonna win that challenge. The, the Sesame did, Street challenge. Sesame yeah. Street. Oh, the, the makeover mm-hmm. challenge. Hey. Hey. Oh, I didn't hey. know what we were talking about for a second. <laughs> <laughs> did she just walk you over like and you like it? Like it's like I I ate she. <laughs> no, Crystal ate that. She. Ate, that. Ate that. Like that. That challenge was fun. It was a good time. But before we even talk about that challenge, Crystal, how have you been since? Um, busy. I've been with Heidi a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. Dear Lord, we we Touring probably world. toured the most. Yeah, Australia together, other. all of the U.S., Canada, Canada. We, uh, <laughs> did I see you in the U.K.? No, which is see, the, the only. One. I think that's the only place that we haven't been together. Yes. So. Yes. yes. Coming soon. The week is the week is just starting. It, it, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now, look, we have we want to talk to you about drag and your drag in particular. Oh my gosh, what do I know about drag? Oh, my, it's the same. What, you tell us what do you know about drag? Like, what is your history? Like, when did you first start seeing drag? Um, let's see. I want to say the first time I saw drag was at a club called Martha's Vineyard, and there was this Ooh. drag queen <gasps> called Cassandra Love. That was the okay. first drag queen I ever saw. And, um, I think I was just there. Yeah, you were actually. I think I was just there like last week. Where yeah. Where is it at? It's uh, Springfield. Springfield, Missouri. Okay. Oh, it's in Springfield. Yeah. yeah. I had a good time. Oh, my God. I'll have to tell you. Cassandra okay, Love. Please. I'll have to tell you. Shout out to that. Cassandra Love. Yeah, Cassandra Love. Love her. Um, but yeah, I honestly, though, I even saw, I remember one of the sh- first shows, Alyssa Edwards came. Mm-hmm. And I hadn't what? seen the show. I didn't know who she was. Um, but I have a drunk photo with her. Yes, <laughs> um, we need yeah. proof. We need. Oh, and since then, I've done her makeup. Isn't that crazy? Oh, my God. Yes! Yeah, I remember, I remember that day. Oh, my God. She was letting the girl. She never let me. But she Why do did. you think that is, Heidi? No, Crystal, why do you think that is? Well, <laughs> well he, I, I had to prove myself. It took days. I, she did. The first time I showed 
Alyssa looked at my face and I said, can I paint you? And she said, no, immediately. Uh, imme- and it shut down. Every day for like five or six days, I painted lighter. I, I look like yeah. you. So, wow. So then I was like, that. so I was like, well, what about not. now, Alyssa? And, and she's it, like, sure, you can do my eye. <laughs> my eye? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's about as far as it was going to go. But did yeah. you do any more than just the eye? Just, no, just I mean, it's, I, that is legendary. And she only uses luxury products, so <laughs> I didn't have enough in my I met somebody in, my in Orlando that case. told me right. they did Alyssa's eyebrows. Oh, my God. Wow. Facts. I, I don't know if I was very good at the eyebrow. But, no, if you did it, if you did it it's legendary. Alyssa, that's a legendary skin, legendary face. Yeah. Truly, truly, truly. But you are a legendary makeup artist, too, though, so. <laughs> I know. Literally makeup icon. When you when you saw when you saw Cassandra, did you like immediately feel like you knew for a fact that you were like going to be a drag queen or No, like... I had no interest in it. I was like, Oh, that's kinda fun. That's kinda <laughs> cool. But I never really I, I it you know, it's the pageant scene and yeah. mm-hmm. female illusion was never yeah. what drew me to drag. Yeah. So it wasn't until like be. way later on. Yeah. Oh, but I but I live for the fact that's like you your drag is like so eclectic and stuff like that, but then you love, you do love like pageant drag and okay. like glamour drag. I, I, I don't like, know if people know that about Crystal, but Crystal is obsessed. Okay, I like <laughs> it because I can't do it. <laughs> oh my God, Crystal. So I own, so like I appreciate it in a way that like, I oh, think wow, Crystal, look at you, that. I think you could do it. We though. need to dress Can you I put up. You in a pa- we're both pageant. We both we should dress her up oh, and glam get, her out. Can we put her in a pageant? Yes. I just got my first gown. Oh, oh is that crazy? Oh. Wait, but what does it look like? Well, okay, it, it, it did you stopped. see my drag con booth? It's yes. like a crazy oh, all over yeah. print pattern, mm-hmm. and I had someone it's just make it into a gown. It has like feathers all over the arms, oh multi rainbow. Oh, no, wait, y'all got a reveal of what the dress is right here. Right here? I don't they have did. pictures in it. Oh my God, they don't have pictures in it, but they know now. now they, they have like know. A, a little who, like people who insight. listen will know when this comes out. Yeah. They're gonna get a little insight to the Icon. look, and I'm excited to see it. You just drop that little nugget of like future. Yeah, but we should we could definitely put you like super glam drag, and then I could even bring the earrings. <laughs> wow, at me because I didn't. <laughs> no, I I bring the earrings. The one that Crystal said my puppet was. <laughs> oh, the, oh my God, the one. That the puppet <laughs> and when I kept wearing, girl, those that was so. I think you funny only wore them like twice or three times. No, but it was so funny to me, girl. I lived. That was one of the funniest when I we lived. did that puppet thing. That was so funny. Oh, I struggled with the puppet thing for, for the most part. <laughs> for, for the most, most part, part, it was kind of funny, girl. I was behind there. I had no idea what to say. I was just like, I had crystals. I was like, I was like, what if, uh, I, I think love you crystals. did a pretty good job. You think so? Okay. Think so. Well, thank you. I was like, I don't know what to do. I was like. Let me paint her up like, uh, like Bert, Ernie. Which one was it? Ernie. Ernie. I've tried to paint her up like that, but I was like, well, here I am on a stone. She's painting, trying to paint her up like Ernie and just looked like Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just oh orange. Just like, you're like, okay, close enough. Whatever. Just do it. Oh get God. it over with. <laughs> but now look, you have a unique makeup. And do you want to describe, like, what is your signature makeup? What is your signature thing? What are you best known for? Or... The glitter. What am I best known for? I was talking about this. I'm like, I don't, do I have a, I was, like, talking to Gigi because yeah. she styled, like, an Elder Barge mm-hmm. mullet for me. Yeah. But other than that, I don't really have a signature hair or wig or, like, look, yeah. I feel. I mean, I have the smiley face lips. I feel like yeah. that's Where the, Where did that, like, because like, your lips are very, like, precise and, like, they come up at this angle and they're very, like. Yeah. It's because I have kind of a flat lip. So yeah. I just, and I hate smiling nonstop in pictures. <laughs> so your face is just all so right. So even if I paint the smile, then I don't have to smile. Yeah, so this is just kind of mouth open. Like, if Hello. you paint smiley, you ain't got to get, get smiley. smiley. Yes. <laughs> Literally. I think too, like when you do the, the circular cheeks. Yeah, because it's Adorable. like the wig, I want to come up to here. So yeah. if all the blush is here, then you can't see it. You're going to miss it. Right. Yeah. You have to put it somewhere. Yeah. yeah I feel like if there there are like unique things that you do that are very crystal way. But then I love to when you do like crazy things like where it's like a random like circle, but it's not even on your eye. So like then your <laughs> eye is not focused on the eye. And you're kind of like, it's like 
changes the way you look at like yeah, an entire I, phase. I love to change the perspective and like I love the makeover process of drag. I like love mm -hmm. not looking like myself. Yeah, the transformation. Which is why I think I struggle with painting light because like if I can see myself, then I'm like mm, I don't like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I remember when we did that when we did the Christmas tour and you were like painting light and you were like. I don't know. I just, I just, I, I don't know. I don't like the makeup. And I'm like, yeah, you look stunning. Yeah, it looks fine, yeah. but it's just like not the same. Mm -hmm. I know. I think it's, I think when I, when I was telling Heidi the other day, because we were literally talking about makeup. Was mm -hmm. that, when was that? It was yesterday. It was yesterday when you came and harassed me at my apartment. I yes. would say, if I You came and like, don't, 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 don't on my door. Heidi, I came and brought No warning. No warning. I was sitting there watching uh, House of the Dragons. And I was trying to catch up, and I was like, dah, dah, dah. I was like, oh, oh my goodness. It Let was me tell horrible. You this. And yeah, we were talking about. I was in her Which I did that trick you told me about. Which one? It was the shimmer one, the shimmer highlight. Oh, and the little glitter. The... With the little uh, champagne colored one on top of it. On top of, of it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's Look at you. Mm -hmm. Shut, look, y'all see that? Oh, She's stunning. Wow. But stunning. I, I, I was in her neighborhood. <laughs> I was already in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. I was going to one of my favorite dispensaries. Mm hmm. The artistry. The artistry, yes. And then they I was like, they, they deliver. do deliver. Yeah. They do I deliver. I love them. Mm. That's literally one of my favorite dispensaries. But love then them. I was there and I said, it would be rude if I did not come to Heidi's house and share. And so that's what I did. Wow. She did come and share, but it was very abruptly and like scared me a little bit. I thought. Did I? I was also on my way to go pee. So I was like, oh. To almost pee. pee myself. I did have to go probably not. Probably not to pee. I'm sorry. Probably scared the shit to out of you. To pee or not to pee? Yeah. I'm like, no, Jada, no. We always get on poop. But no, no, no not today. <laughs> Never mind. Not today. No, not, today. not today. Oh my god. Okay, sorry, now, Crystal. Sorry. You, sorry. Crystal, are like a, a doll. But you have a sister who is also a doll. You and Heidi worked a lot on tour together. And I worked a lot on tour this summer with your sister. Oh I know. Daya. Parallels. I oh, am yeah, jealous. Parallels. It's kind of crazy. But like, what was it like for you to see Daya like make it on the show? Um, it felt so nice because you know when you're doing like we were obviously had our own scene back home and you like see all the things that are happening in television yeah. and everyone else that makes it and you're like I can do that I yeah. can do that right and so it's crazy that now we just both are and yeah. we've made it and ah! um so it's really fun it's been fun watching her like evolve a bit and like mm. I feel like being with all the Voss girls she's like oh I wear human hair wigs now oh my god we <laughs> talked about this on I tour I paint really light we I... talked about that on tour she's like I do not want to look like Crystal anymore I live <laughs> wait I live. And, and she wait speaking of like hair she had like human hair really good but when she did that Pamela Anderson like look yeah, she and she's so good Love at hair. It. She did all my hair for my season. Oh, that's really? right. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, I remember you telling us yeah. that. Oh my. God. So and now she's even better now. So much yeah, better. she is way better. But the funny thing is, all the wigs that she wore on her season were like ratted and like bad. <laughs> oh, the dragging. <laughs> but like she looked good in them because she's edgy. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, 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 yeah, could, she, could, <laughs> she could carry what you just said. Well, she could carry the hair, yes. horrible hair, because uh -huh. it fit her aesthetic. Yeah, that's yes, what you said. <laughs> So look, if if you if you if let's say you and Daya, oh this God. is just me being petty and nosy Be, because Be I petty. also kind of feel like the fans will probably want to know if you and Daya were on the same season and there was a lip sync. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and the lip sync was to Heidi. What song? Uh, work me down, down. Ooh, oh yes, oh pageant track. Oh, 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 oh my god, oh pageant dance number. Who I, okay? Who would be the one with the best wig reveal, and then who would ultimately win that? Yes. Thing? Oh, mm -hmm. you know, there's so much going on. I want to say if there's no reveals, that okay. Betty could probably take me down. Okay, but I want to say that if it was about the. Yeah. Multi, mul yeah. multiple like Layers. costume lo yeah. like I would probably I could take that but I also want to say that in my vision yeah. mm -hmm. give it if, to us if, if me and Betty are both on all stars clearly she's going to be in the bottom I'm going to have to pick her lipstick literally and send her home literally that's what RuPaul wants you would yeah. have to and, and this is the thing it's like you would have sometimes to. what Ru wants is what you want yeah what Ru <laughs> like I have to show him. You that do. You say, Rue, I'm not afraid to make decisions yeah. we want. Yeah. 
I'm not afraid to do what we need to do. Like, but I would tell Betty, don't listen to this, Betty. I would say, Betty, I would never send you home. So never. Way, yes, she, would never. So that way, she wouldn't send me home. That's Girl, right. That's right. Tell her, this is you. You go right in there. You say, Betty, this is a family, and we're in an alliance, and we better stay in one. Yes. And you better not ever send me home because I would never do that to you. And then as soon as you get the chance, you say, get the fuck out of here, girl. Step in. You're gone, bitch. (laughs) Mind game. That's low down. (laughs) That's low down. And then the gag is every bitch is like, Yep. What a low down bitch. And now you have a target on your back and everybody sends you home the next week. <laughs> Literally, you're like, so it was for nothing. It was for not. <laughs> for it was for not, honey. What was the reason? <laughs> oh no, my I God. think people would, um, you know, accept my They would. My I think they would. They would. I would. They would. I, would, I think I would, we, be we mad. would all accept it. I love you, Daya, but I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> What was it like touring in Australia with Heidi? What oh my god! Uh, and Rock was there. Rock, Rock was, was there too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Rock was at the pod. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod with Rock. So of course. it was. It was really fun. I want to say it was the time difference got was <sighs> affected me more than I thought it was going. It to. carried for so mm-hmm. long. Um, but we did go to the zoo and see all the Australian <sighs> animals. Oh, I yeah. heard you got to we see saw a wallaby. Kangaroos. We saw wallabies. Rock, no, Rock saw a wallaby. Rock loves wallabies. She cried. She cried Rock at the wallaby. She cried. did cry. It was like I was like, I was like, what's your favorite Australian oh, animal? My favorite Australian animal. I mean, oh, well, I guess a koala. But one of the oh, things, that is, one of the little finds I got in Australia yeah. was a vintage coin purse shaped like a koala head, but made out of kangaroo fur. Uh, is that not crazy. so crazy? It was like from the 60s. A flip your yeah. mind inside <laughs> out, upside down. Crazy. What was one thing is not something you thought it was. Yeah. It's something other than that. Uh-huh. <laughs> but still so soft. But still something soft so. and cute. <laughs> so oh. cool. So soft. Oh. oh my God, I love koalas. I think if I would like it, but if I could be any Australian animal, I would be probably a mother kangaroo. A mother kangaroo, a baby in your Cause I'm, I feel like I would be very protective. What about you? Mm-hmm. Any Australian animal? I guess koala, because I too need like 18 hours of sleep a day. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's really fair. Heidi? Me? Oh, I would have been one of them. Um, what's, oh, oh my God, what was it? You could the, be the my hippos. Joey. A hippo. Is a hippo Australian? They, they were there. It was at the zoo. The <laughs> they were there. Heidi, a hippo is not Australian. They were there. <laughs> They're Australian hippos. They live in Australia. Why can't they? Heidi, that is not a thing. <laughs> Y'all, I, say, I I don't know how many times in my life I have had to say, Heidi, that is not a thing. But bitch, just this as, is just one of the most. Just as many times I said, Jada, you're late. Um, <laughs> let's get on to some scary business. Um, it's spooky season. Because, girl, Ooh. you're not going to do it today. I ain't got no nails on, y'all. I wanted to be really doing like really cutesy stuff like this. Heidi, I know you keep holding the mic like this. Subtly. It's something about this microphone (laughs) that I just, I don't know. It really gets her going. It gets me going, baby. But it's spooky season. (laughs) And I remember like when, when I like, I just want to say before we get into anything, Uh I'm still not over the fall runway. (laughs) My impact. The impact. The way. Every time I think about the way. spooky season, I think about fall. I'm like, literally, that look was like very like, you just, you felt like Freddie was a fall girl. Yeah. It was she is. And you know what? It's Halloween again, and I'm wearing that costume. Yes. As you should. Yes. As you should. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait. So. You did that. You did the whole head part with like band aids, right? Yeah. Well, it was like a wig cap that I put yeah. duct tape on top of to give it some structure. Ah, okay. And then the band aids over that. Oh, and I still have the same one that I wore on the show, and it's like absorbed some things. You know? What do you Ooh, mean absorbed? Yeah, no, smell, no. All those little patches on the band aids have yeah. sweat and all. Yeah. Ah, the really growing pus. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, just adds to the look. Yeah. And I still wear it. Hey, it, get your wear out of it. Get your, you deserve it. You deserve it. Do you still like have time to make like 
looks and stuff looks like because stuff? you're very busy. I am. I'm so busy. Um, oh, I so moved busy. to there LA a little bit ago. Yeah. Um, and I'm finally like kind of unpacked in my drag room. Mm -hmm. And the Australian tour that me and Heidi did yeah. was the last gig I did that was booked in 2020. So I'm finally caught up. Okay. So I do. I have had free time a oh, little bit. Oh, so you're bit. not doing the, the Christmas tour this year? Oh, I am. She is. Okay. I have. She's, yeah. She has. She's getting back to work. I, I okay. took a few weeks off to prepare. Okay. She's been um, gone. But, but I have too been long. making now things. Now it's time to bring it back. Yeah. But I am planning on making a Halloween costume. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, making that's my it, challenge. Like you, you haven't okay. started it yet. I haven't started Wait, it yet. Wait, what day is it? It's like only like a couple days away, like two weeks. It's the 18th. We got time. Yeah. That's time. I can make an outfit in two days. You just gotta For like sure. just you just gotta think like the old the old resourceful you. Yeah, I have Ooh. the I have the fabric already. That would be like I don't know what to That's do for Halloween the and then three days yeah. before the Getting show. Getting the right fabric is half the battle. Yeah. So you're already halfway there, yeah. You got it. You can do this. Oh, I'm you excited. can do everything, and Crystal. You have time to do it and then do a photo shoot and then pump it out on social media for Halloween. Oh, well, I don't know. She said, well, wait, I <laughs> will no, wait a minute. Sure. I'll be wearing it on Halloween. <laughs> but I will be wearing it. I will on. be wearing it on Halloween. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be posted. Like it'll be a snapshot. I'm really bad at posting on social oh, media. Cry. I gotta but get wait, better too. That post that we put together, you, me, and Rock for your um, your the, you're in the game. The little oh, that yes. little clip was so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Well, I'm good at TikTok. So I'm yeah. pretty good at TikTok. You are very. I say that I love all the time. I just I have a like passion for it. My two favorite people on TikTok from the and from Drag Race, you, Plastique. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Heidi is also there. Polar like, opposite. I just but I'm just often. very jealous that she has more followers than me. You have more on Instagram. Calm down, sis. Yeah. Give I feel take. like Instagram is where you, is like, it makes more, like, because, you know, people want to follow your life, whereas TikTok is so fast. But like, TikTok is You know, that's fun. why Plastique is it so is. huge. She's crossed over onto Straight Talk. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Straight that's Talk. Crazy. I'm on Cringe Talk. <laughs> yes, so like, I yeah. only want to see videos that make me uncomfortable, and I'm very <laughs> oh, particular about my algorithm. Oh my yes, God. I, I am gagging because I'm like I didn't even know that was a thing. You well, what <sighs> talk are you on? Do you think? Um, gay talk. I don't know. Oh, you Perf are on gay talk. Am I on TikTok is only shirtless men. Oh, oh my God. Is, is it? it really? Sounds about right. Sounds I don't about even right. know what mine is like. <laughs> I have I maybe like see like the same seven people. Okay. Well, when I open the app and then, then I upload videos and then like sometimes we will get like three. How many plays. hours a day do you spend on TikTok? A week, or a day? A day. Oh, not a lot. If uh, I averaged it out, I could probably. If I averaged it, it would probably be like maybe. <laughs> Can like you give two us like a, 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 yeah. a guess? Guesstimate. Six to eight hours a day. A day. <laughs> On TikTok? Yeah. A day? TikTok addiction! I like it more <laughs> oh than TV. God. Oh my God, I could not. I could not. No, no, no. Oh, Jesus. That's so, all. So, wait. So, have they you... They might get 10 minutes Have you me. watched I Love I'm Bobby Purr? I'm exposing Burr? myself. Um, <laughs> or, did you, or did you only Burr. see any... Or do you even know what that happened? Because it's all TikTok. No, I don't know what TikTok. we're talking about. Oh my God. I love, but I love TikTok. Cringe talk. I'm just not really. I'm just not really good at posting on social media. I'm I feel horrible like. at posting. I'm really about to just get an assistant to start doing it for me. You think so? I I do. I do. Oh, Heidi. <laughs> She's Baby, she got the way I am painting up this microphone, <laughs> it's gonna literally look like her full face <laughs> just sitting there. Now, but before, like, before we even leave or anything, is there like anything you got going special that you want to promote? Like any tours? Any like? Are you merch. doing Christmas? I am doing. Are you doing Christmas? I'm not doing the full doing Christmas, Christmas, but I'm doing like, I'm doing about half of it. I'm doing the entire 36 cities of a yes. drag queen Christmas. Yes, okay. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, which I'm really excited about because I love that there's dancers. We get a little production yeah. number. I'm actually rehearsing with them today. Work. Um. So I yeah I love it. That's all I have. Oh, and my, I we have exclusive Christmas merch. On the tour, Ooh. so Ooh. It'll be give the people a preview. Yeah. What is it? What is it giving? It's giving um, a T-shirt design that I released in Australia, but converted the colors to be Christmas. Yes, Ooh. as you should, it's because multi-purpose. Let me let me of tell course. you this: some if it ain't some real. people will try to hate, but bitch, your favorite video game characters when you switch the outfit. It changed it's all just the color of the outfit. Just it changes the, yeah. everything up. That's all it is. It changes it all up. <laughs> Imagine if you if Princess Peach was wearing purple. <gasps> That'd be fierce. 
I would pay twenty five dollars to get that skin. A laugh, not five dollars. Oh, twenty five. Uh, twenty five do- for one skin. If I like it, yeah. I, I, I Ariana Grande yeah. wrote a song about that for this one situation. Skin. That is not. I buy skins on Fortnite. That is. You got to get what you want. I want the outfits. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and judge y'all because there's this ninja game that I play, and I have to get all the correct tools at all times. So I do. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and cap. I do apologize. <laughs> thank you for trying. <laughs> for trying thank to you for thank y'all. you for owning up to that. <laughs> thank you so much. I do apologize. And also, because it's spooky season, we have to ask you: What is your favorite movie that you suggest? Like, give us like a a deep spooky reference mm. for somebody a to have to enjoy this Halloween reference? season. Ooh. Um, I used to watch scary movies at. My friend's house in the basement, her older sister was really into scary movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we watched this one movie called Husk. And um, it's basically <laughs> like this Corn. ghost possesses like these it. dead bodies that are positioned around the, the fields as scarecrows. And she like oh. then kills more people and turns them into more scarecrows so that her she's she building can an, go a farther, scarecrow farther. empire. Yeah. But it's really scary. But they then like, what happens when she gets to the end of the cornfield and there's just like street? She has, I don't know. She oh, hasn't gotten there Lord. yet. Okay. But, but there's, it's really like there's some gory scenes oh. where she's like hitting nails into her, into their hands so that they have like claws. Ah! It's really, oh really nasty. God. Halloween time. We should watch it together. Oh my God. Should we? Yeah, we you should want watch to? it. I do want to watch us. We'll do a reaction video. Ooh, that would be cute. I don't know, because I might be scared, like really scared. And I, Heidi, you don't I get, get really me, you would scared. protect me. G- You're right, girl. I'm running, bitch. Bye. You got to go. You protect me. Honey, I choose me every time. But you know what, Crystal? I would like to ask you, if you don't mind, to stay around for emails. Uh, I would We're love gonna to. We're going to do some special emails today. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this is one of my favorite okay. things. It's going to be a good time. Because uh, oftentimes we get to give advice, and I would love to see what advice you would have to give. It's going to be fun. So, we're going to take a break really fast. Let's take a break. Let's take a break, and we'll be right back. Be right back. Boom. Yeah. We are back, y'all. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> you know where I got that ha ha no from? Uh, no. Where? I got it from the Step for Wives. <laughs> is that? <laughs> it's, it's one part, and she said something that I'm not going to repeat on here. And you said, ha ha no. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm talking about? No. I'll, I'll, tell, you later, I'll, I'll yeah. tell you later. I'll find the clip. I'll tell you later. But, find y'all, that. we are going to be doing some emails, as always. And Crystal is with us to do those emails now. If you already know, as we always tell you every single time, if you have questions, if you have comments, concerns, something we need to know, if we said some shit and it was wrong and you're like, girl, no, (laughs) set the record straight, anything, you can always email us. And all you have to do is email email us. You can do it. Heidi. You can do it. Thank you. Give me a little strength. Email us. (laughs) Email us. Email us. At (laughs) hall and closet at gmail. Dot com. Yeah, get, yes, get in there. Get some of that email. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, Hall yeah. and Closet. A M D at Gmail. Dot com. That was it. Mm. You have spoke since I'm I, proud of you. Sometimes finally you gotta, did. You got to work for it sometimes. Finally, some, sometimes you got to. That's what you, you, you show up to work and you think, well, I've got on the lipstick. I've done it. You, <laughs> that's, and that's, sometimes it's more than that. It is truly sometimes more than that. Okay, let's get into this Let's get into these one. emails. Let's get into this first Mrs. one. You ready? Yes. Mrs. Closet. First one says... Get your sexy podcaster voice on. Sexy podcaster voice. Hi, Mrs. Closet and Miss Hall. I am currently listening to the newest episode while typing this. I love both of you, and you each are so talented, beautiful, hilarious, and fierce. Thank you. Thank you. All these compliments. Thank you. Season 12 is always the first season I show people when I introduce them to Drag Race. Yay. Anyway, my question for you two is a two-parter. I live in Utah, and there are not a lot of drag race girls who come out here. Please come to Utah. I'll buy, I'll buy front row seats and tip you both so good. Oh, thank Heidi you, loves tips. I do love a good tip, baby. That's you. You doing really good? Not French tips, tips today. Got us in here no, like this. <laughs> Jada. Ahead, Heidi, oh my god. Okay. I have been to a few shows, and I know a few local girls. I.e., Sequoia. I think I'm saying that. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay. Uh, the whore of '94. 
LSD. Okay. <laughs> LSD. Okay. <laughs> However, do you have any tips on how to find more local drag, especially in a community where the whole state is so religious? Even though Salt Lake has a huge gay community, there ha- there never seems to be huge drag shows. I follow girls on Instagram, and they do promote their shows, but I would like to find even more. Any advice? That's the first parter. And then, okay. do you want to do that one first? Um. What do you think? Let's do it. Honestly. Let's take it. For more local drag. Oh my I goodness. feel like it sounds like she knows who the local, who some of the local girls are. So I would ask them. Yeah. that would, yeah. The girls know what's going on. Yeah. The T is, is I'm not from Salt Lake City. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell you. But the people I, in your community, I, you know, what that I do, do know. Work, they know. You know what I do? Yeah. Know? Yes, ma'am. In Salt Lake City, mm-hmm. girl on stage performing, it's harder to breathe. That altitude, baby. Baby, that altitude. The altitude is real. I remember we were on the Christmas tour last year. We were doing oh. the gigs, or whatever, and we were doing fine, whatever. We got to Salt Lake City, baby. We were struggling breathing after the dance. Well, I, was I was like, recently What's there, and me? I was like done. I was like. I was like, I need to get healthier. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing that I cannot breathe right now. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I just finished the tour. I was like, no, but I was dancing I'm in all shape. night. I'm in shape I'm right like, now. No, I'm in, be... in a great shape. No, it's not me. It's not me. But, but if you know the girls there, like literally, you know any of like the any of the talent there that's like doing whatever type of drag shows. All you have to do is talk to the people that are there. And then also, sometimes I feel like is like w- don't wait for like if you're not seeing what you want to see. Sometimes you have to make what you want to see. You know. Now, you gotta oh. be the fantasy you're looking for. Yeah, uh, look at you speaking. So if you feel like there's say, not, we need drag, brunch. we need more drag shows. Yes, we need more drag shows, and I would like to be a producer on one. You could produce oh. a drag show. That's true. That is true. Get into your producer bag, honey. <laughs> get that credit. Get you that know, credit. I see. Might as well speaking troops out here. And yeah, you probably know what you like at the drag shows. Uh, <laughs> oh, meet some people. You know the right people. Just talk to the right people. They can make it happen. Now, Heidi, go ahead and finish that email. Let me finish this out, okay? Looking good. Thank you. You too, boo. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) Stop playing with me. Also, (laughs) you're so gorgeous. Uh, You ain't going to give me one back? You're beautiful, stunning. Thank you. See compliment she, for compliment. And you're gorgeous I'm, too, Crystal. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, you're our special and guest. You're, you're gorgeous here. Too. Uh, you're here, but also Heidi does never compliments me enough, so I have to give her randomly give her compliments so that she reminds her to compliment me. you. Thank Here's you. She, yeah, you see, you know how it feels. I'm sure that's probably what, what you have to do with not her on this, tour too. Not this. I know all about that. Thank oh, you. Oh man. <laughs> I finally being you here, I don't what? feel so alone. Normally, Ingrid, I would have, would think would have Ingrid my back. Y'all don't just see Ingrid, side. but usually Ingrid she's always on Heidi's side. side. Uh, as she should. <laughs> she's up there producing, and she said, "Yeah, drag her, drag her. This is drag what they need. This is what the viewers come to listen to. Drag now. This is what the viewers come to listen to." <laughs> You let know. me let me finish this email. Yes, let's do it. You're so difficult sometimes. Sorry. Mm. We love you, Ingrid. Love you, Ingrid. Uh- <laughs> Also, I recently met a Rue girl, and not to name names, but she wasn't exactly the friendliest in the world. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do do you have any advice on anything I can do to better than when meeting queens? I know some queens absolutely do not want to be touched, which is very understandable, but should I maybe start with a joke rather than a compliment or maybe give them a gift? Let me know what you think. Love you both. Love, Kyler. No. <laughs> Girl, um, no, you don't have to be giving people things no, for people you, to be you, nice to you. you that's kind of crazy. To, and let's not yeah. set the precedence that you have to believe that unless you have you, to give people unless shit. Unless you want hey, to, truly. Have no. you ever gotten a gift and not been appreciative? I mean, <laughs> so, that's true. Tea. I appreciate I mean, a gift. Tea. I appreciate a gift. I've gotten weed as gifts many a time. Okay, now I'm not going to lie about that, girl. I got ooh, And baby. I love that. I, I'm not even gonna say her name because she knows who she is, but honey, she had got me set she up. Know. She had a friend bring it to Seattle Period. from a dispensary, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. I love you so much, baby. That's Bells. S- sending some love, love out to you. Sending some love out to you. Yeah, but no, um, I would say never meet your idols. Just never kidding. Meet your idols. Um, <laughs> no, I, and no one ever <laughs> came to a Crystal <laughs> Method yeah, meet and greet just, ever again. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's like. I don't. I feel like you just gotta like go in and have the positive energy. Yeah. And, you know, because I feel like we all can feel we all vibe off the mm-hmm. energy that we're given. So, 
I don't know. And sometimes maybe girls just have a hard day. Yeah. yeah. I can't speak to what was going on. Girl, let look, let's be very clear. Mm -hmm. There are times that like the work is fun and it is fabulous and fierce, honey, but there yep. are times where we are getting on a plane at 4.30 in the morning and then you have a connecting flight somewhere else and then you land at 3.30 and then when you, and you drive right to the hotel and, and get and make up and then immediately go to the gig. And you are exhausted. And the gig could be like a four hour gig situation. And you will be like flat out of energy. And yeah. and like just done. And, and and like it's you don't mean to be rude to people, but or you're not even being rude, but it's like sometimes the energy is just low. And the energy and, can just be off that day. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I know like when when you meet your faith, the people you love the most, you you're going to want to see them at their best. But of bitch, course. Sometimes bitches are just not at their best. <laughs> Fair. Sometimes when bitches, when you're like, are you okay? How are you doing? Oh God, bitch, when you want to hear them say, I'm great, but bitch, the reality is not they're so. not. Oh I've, I've actually done a full meet and greet once where I was just like emotionally just. Yeah. Just, I had just gotten in an argument and everything. It was horrible. Yeah. And I had to do a meet and greet. I went. <laughs> girl, you have girl, to. And pushed through the meet and greet. I was like, ooh. You and then I got to. back, I was like, oh, that was very draining. Oh but God. but I think even in those moments, like people who are generally good people, when even when you're tired, mm -hmm. you 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 yeah. don't you're not an asshole to people. Yeah, for sure. And like I think like um I think like I think part of the advice, well, I mean one of the questions was, do you have advice on um anything you can do better when meeting queens? I, mean, I don't like sometimes I think some people lead with is I don't know, jokes are weird to lead with. Because sometimes a joke could be offensive. Yeah, because that one woman in Australia. Oh, yeah. Did you remember, do you remember that woman in Australia came for me in that meet and greet? Girl. girl what did she say? Girl, she, I want to see if it was valid. We were <laughs> we were there because this tour had been booked like two years ago. And um, we were finally there. And this one woman came up to us. She was very nice. She was like, hey. And she was like, yeah, we've been. She's like, I'm excited. This is, I've been booked this for like two years. I'm like, yeah. We, Rock said something about uh, we're better now that it's been two years. So you're actually you're getting a better show. I was like, yeah, my makeup got better in the last two years. She's like, did it? I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, this was like two not even a month ago, <laughs> she said this to me. I was like, oh, oh. And then Heidi's scrolling through, looking at the pictures. <laughs> Girl, somebody say some shit like that to you. You literally on your phone scrolling through, looking at your old pictures, like, <laughs> thinking in your head, like, maybe I didn't. <laughs> just one person will just fuck you. You're like, literally, you like laying in the bed at the hotel. You're on the plane, riding back. Looking fuck at old pictures, just up. thinking like, fuck my whole shit up. I was like, oh damn, girl. And then next thing you know, on Tuesday, she's posting a picture of her like back then, and then a picture of her now. <laughs> I'm a throwback Thursday. Come a long way. What do you think, y'all? Fishing <laughs> validation. Fishing, girl. Fishing. Did they like? Did they shade you too? No, everyone told me I look better in person. <laughs> oh, really? Isn't that so funny? Yes. The shade. <laughs> the shit of it I all. always used to think that that was a weird compliment. I get told I look smaller in really? person than I did on TV. People tell me that too. I'm like, thank you. I, yeah. I feel so delicate I then. Feel when like they tell maybe me that. we're just a small season. people. We were all very yeah. similar like, height. That's what, what like widow. literally everybody says that they thought that I was. Everybody thought that I was tall. Everybody said they thought that I was extremely yeah. tall because those legs until girl. this summer. <laughs> They saw how short you truly and are. And when it was All Star 7, <laughs> and then me and Trinity are just like, it's like you're going down the line and just like, <laughs> <laughs> just me and Trinity just like completely Who is short. the tallest? Um, Monet? Raja. Raja is tall, yeah, Raja. Raja and Evie are both really tall, but mm. you know Raja loves like a shoe like this big. Yeah. Raja's going to wear a big glass pump, girl. Raja's going to put on a tall shoe. Evie will wear a tall shoe, too, but Raja's going to, she's going to most often always be in, like, a really mm -hmm. tall shoe. That's why I like standing next to Betty. Oh, she's see, so tall. she is tall, too, but yeah. Cool. And then when I'm, like, when I can put my hand around her waist, Ooh. and I'm just, like, a little girl, just like, I love uh, that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Family. Oh. Look, now, um... Any, but before we got off this email, any advice that you feel like to like, what would you say like when you meet a queen? To meet a queen? Um, I would say dress up nice 
because you know what I mean? We put effort into how we Smell look. Smell good. And, and so be like, yeah, just be, show up ready, excited. Be like, I'm, I, I don't think you have to say or do yeah. anything. No. Just Because I think a lot of the times people get in their head about saying the right thing yeah. and then they can't say anything. It says in the this Bible, is, come this as is you my are. Thing. I say, so. I say, you can say, oh, if this is a T. If book. you meet a queen, I feel like just be direct. I know it's very nerve wracking to like meet somebody that like you look up to or like somebody that you like might have seen on TV or whatever the T is. But like, just be direct. Like, like, hey, oh my God, like, I noticed you. Um, I'm a fan. I would like a photo. Because mm-hmm. sometimes there you'll get nervous and some people will be like talking to you for 15 minutes and then they'll be like, I want a picture. <laughs> or they'll like, or, you, or, or you'll wait forever and then the girl is like, okay, gotta go. Or they get pulled off and then you miss the photo opportunity. So like, just say what you want. Say hi. If that's all you want to do is say hi and give a compliment or whatever, just say hi. But mm-hmm. literally like, don't be afraid to like speak to, like, we love y'all. We love It's all love. I love good chat. I love good chat. chat. Actually, just the other day at the airport coming home from Houston, mm-hmm. uh, this uh, this girl she came up. She she noticed who I was. She come chat with me. We we chatted about 10, 20 minutes before the plane uh, mm-hmm. we took off, and then I talked to her on the plane too. It was a good time. She was very sweet. We took a little very photo. Nice. Little, it was yeah. really fun. She was very sweet. Fun. Somebody took a picture of me while I was asleep on the plane. I did. It was me. The fl- it was a One time I met a girl who I was, I was sitting next to on the plane and she took me home. We had such a good time. Wow, Work. really? Work. I live, Work. really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Coming, I live. Coming back from the UK. Yes, ma'am. Work. Yes, ma'am. We spent hours together. We love I to see live. It. We love to see it. <laughs> wow, look, whoa. We love to see I it. Didn't, but let's get to the next email. That just yeah. kind of gagged me. <laughs> that was gaggy. We're going to talk more about that later, y'all. That's not going to be on the pod, though. <laughs> Sorry. That's going to be on That's gonna be on the pod after dark. <laughs> the pod after dark. Closet. Not very much after happening after hours, but okay. Oh no. You ready? Yes, let's do it. Hello, girls. Hi. Love the pod. And I'd like to know if you've ever been yelled at by a stranger for being gay in drag. Like, for example, me and my partner are lesbians. And once we walk down the street holding hands and a, uh, a man yelled gay little hoes over and over at us and it uh, honestly was the funniest hate crime I've ever experienced. I'm like, I was literally, I didn't want to like laugh. I didn't want to laugh because I I'm like, I didn't want to laugh because I was thinking like, what, that's crazy and y'all were probably scared, but I also right. was like, what the fuck kind of <laughs> thing is this? What did you scream? Gay little hoes? That's I what would I be call like, my friends. What? Like, yeah. That's what I call okay, my friends. Okay. Um, conf- confused little okay. asshole. Um, <laughs> uh, um, but, and then it was, um, it says, even though. We are in a progressive small city. We always get glares and sometimes little remarks. I hope it's not as bad in big cities for y'all. Thanks for reading this. Angel the Demon. I'm here for it. Work. Now, girl, I was just recently in uh, Sacramento. Mm-hmm. And I was called, some, a man called me an explicit. <laughs> an explicit. Do you, okay. Girl, and I How'd you look, take this it? Is, girl. I be having to remember to calm down because the world is kind of crazy and dangerous, but I'm from the hood of Milwaukee, girl. Okay. So he said, he said, <laughs> scream that word to me. I turned around and said, what, bitch? <laughs> Period. Really? Girl, and he was like running off. But then like, it was like these like kids, like younger, like, like teens were all like on like three of them on the balcony thing. And they like started screaming like, what did he just say to you? Like. They were like, "Do you want us to go kick his ass?" Like young, like didn't appear oh, to be queer you teens. Me about yeah, this. girl, and I was like, "That was so gaggy oh and crazy." It was oh. like very, but to me, it was like the person was being an asshole, and the world is full of assholes. Mm-hmm. But I was like, the the takeaway for me, I was like less bothered by the fact that somebody screamed the word to me. Yeah, you know, and I didn't that really. I was like, whatever, girl. Back you up. Yeah, I it was that. like, it was like, it was literally like seeing young people in the world being like, "No, I don't like that." That was pretty the world's dope. going in a really good People position. are, yeah. A really good direction. Although there's a lot of ugly people out in the world, there's a lot of people who want to do right. Why did you look at me thing. when you said ugly people? Heidi, I was just looking at you because you, we were, no, we, you, I was no, having a conversation with you. No, you know, you just stick right am, at me when you said it, what it feels like. What it feels like is your friend has you, pent up <laughs> anger about what happened in Australia <laughs> and now wants to take it out on me. Because I'm just here doing my job. No, you distinctly looked at me. Heidi, I came here to you work said today. A lot of ugly. Heidi, was that the worst thing you did someone come... has said to you? Is the that... worst thing that's ever been said to me? Oh goodness, no! I've oh I've been called horrible things. I'm from the south, so oh girl. So, so you know I've been called like things like monkey I, and all these things. Like was I was literally, I would say that like you are from the south. You are from 
Springfield, Missouri, Missouri. Is like, the Midwest. I want to say it's Midwest, it, but it's pretty. It's like it's Midwest. It's pretty south. south. Yeah, yeah. like south and Midwest. It has, yeah. it has like southern roots in there. I think they yeah. were like half. Right? Weren't they like maybe? I forget. I'm I don't not, know. We didn't learn a lot in Missouri. So. <laughs> Y'all, Public I'll tell schooling. you this: this Public this schooling. this podcast is not brought to you by the Missouri Board of Tourism. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing for sure. Yeah, but yep. we're we're sending, we're sending you some love, Angel the Demon, because having to deal with that kind of nonsense is horrible and it's. Tea. Yeah, I was in you love. I think the last time I had a slur yelled at me was in Nashville. I was with Denali and we were getting what? breakfast. Oh no. Yeah, and there's just someone driving in a car and then we it was right outside where we were going to go eat and we went in there. They gave us the one gay server in the restaurant and then we felt more uh, uh, more at peace. <laughs> yeah. Look, and let me tell you this, shout out. I'm going to just say this while you just mentioned that because when you get on the plane or you go to the restaurant, mm-hmm. And one of your sisters are there, or whether your brothers, or one of the family is there. It's kind of cunt, and it's a good feeling. So Thank shout out to all of y'all that are, like, out there in the world, and, like, when we meet y'all, or y'all are doing, like, and it's just nice to be able to, like, see y'all. So it is a really good feeling. You know when you get, a gay, like, a gay server? Oh, so nice. And, like, girl, I'm, like, even, I just, I'm, like, so what do you suggest I eat today? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, because you know it's going to be good. Of course. You know, the it's going to be it's the gonna prettiest be meal. It's going to be great. Down. It's going to be fabulous. So look, I think it's a great time for us to take a break. We should take a break. Let's Boom. do it. And we are back. We're back. And Heidi, I just want before while we get back, I just want to make sure I want to bring this to attention, everybody. Okay, what you bring to attention? <laughs> oh, what are these? Lashes. Lashes. You got lashes now? I have. I know. I had lashes delivered. Y- yeah, just now. So just so you, you know save how late me. In the podcast no, we I just want to say you saved me, but don't feel like you're that girl. I am that girl. I girl, don't do this. <laughs> I was prepared. Were you though? They just pulled up a little late. They did, girl. Like, we still be like, sitting here like, twiddling like, thumbs. like my friends when I need them most. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we are back and we have more emails. Heidi, you can take the first one. First, attacks me, then thrust the work on me too. Lord I think Jesus. You, you deserve the work. Th- thank you. I appreciate that. You deserve that. the work. You've been working hard. You deserve more work. I had to work hard all my life. All my life, I had all to work. All my life, I had to work. I live. Okay. The first one. Stop it, Jada. Stop it. Okay. Hi, Heidi and Jada. My name is Rodney, and mm-hmm. I am a longtime fan of both of your beautiful queens. Oh, watching you. season 12 with your with you girls has been a huge step into accepting myself and my interest for what they are. And when I boil, boil okay, yes, it's boiled. Sorry. Mm-hmm. When I boiled them all down, it was drag. Oh. I've been practicing makeup and creating a persona for my drag for about two months, and I'm ready to go out and drag and make friends, be a part of the community. I just want to let the girls know how much of an impact you've made in my life. I always planned my life to fit into the mold that what my parents and significant others wanted me to be. And watching and listening to you has really given me the fire I've needed to explore my interests and see where it takes me. Altogether, I'm asking for any tips as I try to enter a new community and how I should go about becoming friends slash family with other queens. Also, any makeup tips slash drag clothes recommendations would be amazing too. Thank you for all the love, light, and inspiration you give, and I'm so glad to be a part of your guys' journey. So glad we get to see more of you. P.S. Do you guys have any drag daughters? Love, Rodney. Right. Winter Dior. Come on, Winter Dior. Yes, Winter Dior. You sound educated, Winter Very. Dior. <laughs> Honey, you sound educated. Yeah. And, and and wants to be even more educated, T. too. Jada. Now, go ahead. 
What would you say is like, <clears throat> let's do a makeup tip first. Makeup tip first. What would you say is a, a good makeup tip for someone who's just starting out, someone who's who's learning drag makeup? What would you say is a good... Have fun. Have Instead fun. Of trying to be perfect, just have fun. Honestly, yeah. That's a good tip. That's the I always one. Try say stuff. use more black eyeshadow. Yeah! <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. I, let me tell you, that is the number one way to have more fun. That because is, you're, absolutely. <laughs> you're going to start ah, building an eye. Uh, <laughs> one way or another, honey. You'll build an another. eye. One way or what another. would you say, makeup tip? Honestly, I would just say moisturize your mm -hmm. skin. Take Keep care of nice your skin, honestly. Be, not even makeup, just just good for your skin. Honestly. Just in general, yeah, yeah. And, and and not even just it really moisturizing, helps. but cleaning it. Mm -hmm. It really, really helps. Cleaning like, it, having a good foundation really helps the process in itself. Now, Crystal, you have a sickening drag family. Yeah, you do. I do. What what advice would you say? Like, how did you meet? Like your drag sisters and family or were, how did you meet? Drag yeah. Friends? So I had an event that, uh, kind of encouraged people to do drag for the first time. Mm -hmm. Um, and so each month we had new, like first time performers. Mm -hmm. So that's how I originally met, um, Diabetti and then our other sister Lux. Yes. Um, and the reason we started getting so close is that, you know, you just, when you find people that have the same interests as you, you just naturally start spending more time together. Right. We were already doing the show together mm. and we was like, well, how do we elevate it? Let's start doing group numbers. So then like, yeah. then when you start factoring all the time you're spending dancing together and mm -hmm. like just yeah. you're spending all your free time together, you just naturally you just naturally jail. You that. know who you right. you feel protected. Yeah. The same way you make a natural friend. Yeah. So I want to say going out into a new scene, I feel mm -hmm. like sometimes maybe things that I've noticed is new queens think that they need to like act like they're already established. Yeah. Do, where it's no. like you're entering this space that you haven't been a part of. So you, they, need, you need to go be the one that's like, hi, this this is who I am. I'm it is like the thing is very that's like yeah. you can like it's like and you, it's nothing wrong with being confident in who you are. Like you should definitely one hundred percent be confident. But mm -hmm. it's like when you come into like a new scene, like the girls, the girls that are doing drag, oftentimes are in that scene doing it for a very long time. Right. So when you're new on the scene and trying to fake like front, like you've been there forever, they know you're new. They Everybody know. knows. <laughs> they like know. the secret is out, they, girl. They know. It's they true. know. It's the same five girls at the bar. We yeah. know. Which, we know you. We know who are you. We know you're new. So like. You don't have to be like pretending like, oh, I'm don't this new person. Phone. I'm like, girl, if you just come out and be like, hey, this is who I am. This is why I drag. I'm or, getting started. Yeah, I'm getting started. Like, is there any people. tips that you might have yeah. for me? And like, just take from there. Yeah, and literally, like, like the same way. Like, just because we were on television does not mean that we know everything in the universe. Oh, for sure, don't. Crystal does. Not, I was not all of us. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Crystal, sorry. I'm sorry, Crystal does. Some of us are more knowledgeable um, than others. We're sorry. But that doesn't mean that like people in your community don't also have answers. Like it's nothing wrong with asking people around you like yeah. for help. That yeah. is so true. Wow, wisdoms from Jada today. Yeah, well, Nuggets of wisdom. <laughs> 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 you know. <laughs> Um, Heidi, you, when you you have a drag family too. I mean, we I do have all a drag, three of us has a drag family, but I, yes, I do. Yeah. I do, don't I? Yeah, you well, do. my daughters stopped doing drag, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, they're, but they're still lovely. And they're my family and stuff. I love them. Um, yeah. I kind of stole one daughter from. Oh. This is how you don't. This is how you don't. <laughs> this is how you don't go into a community. Okay. I stole my first drag daughter. Basically, there was this queen from back home. She take, but she would take all the new drag queens. She takes all the baby drag queens. Yeah. She has like fifteen. And she can't even take care yeah. of three. Kind of deal. That okay. Girl, I kind of did she's that. She's that girl. She's. Oh, that you girl. did that too. I kind of did that. <laughs> Not with Betty. But took so, in all the kids you could. Lux. No, because I saw there, you know, they, oh, yeah. oh, there's just one place where the yeah. new girls kind of perform. Uh -huh. yeah. And so I just went and watched them. I was like, that one's the best. I want that one. Yeah. And See? That one. That's the <laughs> one. See? Yeah. You know, though. Yeah, you know, I'm like, I like. I, I I see this person. They're young. They're starting to do drag. I'm like, I see a lot of me in them. I want to help them. So yeah. I, I basically just stole her. Wow. Yeah. Do you would you would never take 15, though. Fifteen children? Yeah. No, that's too many. Uh, you, you don't think you think that's too that's too, there's too many closets. That way too. Many. That's too many closets. House full of no rooms, just closets. Yeah, just <laughs> halls and closets. Yeah, house, closet house. Okay, now look, T. <laughs> Um, I think like when when I met my drag family, I kind of like literally did have to like be the person to be like open my mouth and say something. Like I like reached out to my drag mother and was like, mm -hmm. "Hi, I think you're amazing." And I was like, "I wish I had somebody who could like give me advice and help me like you." And then she was like, "I will." 
And I, I was like, what? Uh, what? Okay. It has to be like that because you can't just show up and then be like, why aren't I getting booked? Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. don't do that. You have, you have to go and support the event and ask. And... It's like anything you do, if it's worth doing, it's worth work. You know what Maybe I mean? Maybe sometimes like, you got to drive the show director to her out-of-town gig once or twice. Literally. <laughs> okay, look, you got you got to do what you got to do. You got to drive the show the show director to her gig. To her gig out of town. That day. <laughs> Sometimes you, you got to do what you got to do, honey. You gotta catch to get the gig. Honey. <laughs> Secure the gig. To get that coin, sis. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> gagging. Look, y'all. I want to move on to the next email. We have another the email. The amount of drag queens that don't have a car that if you just drove them everywhere that they needed to be. They would owe you so many gigs. Exactly. Girl, would, let, let me you tell so you this. You if would you have, have a car, oh, you're going. You would be really? working for the rest of your life. <laughs> Honey, tr- trust. You would be working for the rest of your life. But the gag is what they won't the tell you is that at those gigs that you got from driving the girls to the gigs, you will be driving other people in your car to those gigs as well. <laughs> uh-huh. So, you know, the ones that you not you you think that you drove them for a free booking, baby, no, you're driving for that booking too. You're going to be every booking after that you're driving. You drive for the girl she's, who needs you for a ride. Car, she's the girl with the car. Be honey. the girl with the car if you want to be the girl with the car. <laughs> You be at the car with the, you, and then when the, when the car breaks down, girl, and everybody else still get into the bar, and you ain't got no money for the gig, <laughs> girl, because that'll be the team. They'll all they'll find new rides. See, in my you'll be at group, home. In my friend group, I was the only girl without a car. So okay, I was like, team. oh, bitch, what's up? she's girl, for me. I'm the one without a car, but girl, I'm I'm the girl. I'm gonna make it. Girl, okay, I'm gonna get there. I'm a nomad, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get there, baby. I'll get across this land on my feet if I have to. On your oh, hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the other email, y'all. We have another email. Um, Okay, here we go. Let's do it. (laughs) Hello, gorgeous queens. My name is Martin, 32, and I'm from Zwole. (laughs) Zwole. 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 It's giving like swole. It's giving swole. It's kind of turning me on the way it's spilled. Oh, the bus. It's like giving like it's like trade's name. Um, The Netherlands. And I really love your podcast and your performances on Drag Race. Best queens of season 12. Oh my God! Thank you, and you sorry, didn't even Crystal. know that one of the sorry, best was going to be here today too. No, no, he's uh, sorry. Chris. We're all the literally. Best. It says, he- Heidi. What are you saying? It starts off, "Hello, gorgeous queens." Oh, it doesn't... literally, Martin oh, had so ESP everybody. and knew yeah. that Crystal would be here. Of course, that's did what it not was. specifically say you or I. Sorry, I'm high. Dean and Clauser. also says best queens of season twelve. You were on season twelve. You're here. This is true. you fall under gorgeous queens. This it is works. True. This thank you, Martin, for all the thank love. Thank you for Let's, calling me gorgeous. Thank you, Jenna. Martin. You, uh, Martin, too. Martin, Martin. Did not, I'm just reading. <laughs> Crystal, I think you are gorgeous, but I never said that. Martin <laughs> said that. <laughs> I don't want to take credit for his words. Um, oh, and then right here, best queen of all star seven. That was to me. That was just, that was specifically <laughs> Unless one you. of you bitches were there and I didn't know about it's it. It's spirit. Just yeah. a spirit. Okay, good. Um, but I have decided to finally have my coming out. It will be on my birthday in November. For me, this is a pretty difficult because I'm probably pretty late and I don't know how my family will react. Do you have any tips, tricks, or hints for me to make, uh, for me, how to make it easier? Plus, if you would ever give John Cena a makeover, would you name this queen, uh, would you name this queen and how would she look like? Um, thank you very much. Much, much love from the Netherlands, Martin. Martin. Okay, and there's Martin right there. We got a photo of Martin. Oh, hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. Oh, work, Martin. Look Martin. Okay, now, <clears throat> I think we should we should start with what's easier. Mm-hmm. John Cena's makeover. John Cena's makeover. <laughs> the easiest. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's definitely the easier part of the question. <laughs> Absolutely yes. easier. John yes. Cena would be gorgeous. Down. Um, so she would beautiful. be stunning, and I would, what, what I would style? say. Like a more classy queen or more like. Um, fashion queen. What you, what is she gonna like? show body, or do we need I think, to? I say, I say, hide the muscle. I say, there's two ways we could do this, and I'm probably, I'm gonna, y'all are probably gonna be probably gagged by my approach. Here she go. But girl, I would want to take it back to the ring. Give her something alternative. Back to the ring. Give her something very edgy. Give her something that feels like maybe she's like a lady wrestler in the ring. You know, really good. You know, like crazy graphic makeup, maybe. Okay. Something that's maybe 80s vibes. Uh, yeah, glam. Yeah, I glam, but like very like, yeah. I see that for her. I see that you for her 80s glam. Okay. I've yeah. been watching She-Hulk, so I was like, I'll just paint him green. Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Like the like the built alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I live. Oh Heidi. I was thinking maybe like a more like a classy, like just Dior Ooh. moment. Just oh my God. What like, color lip? A neutral. Something neutral. Ooh. Rosy cheeks though. Rosy, rosy, rosy cheeks. cheeks. Something light, something. I'm, when you just gave me that, it was giving me like I could just see like a, maybe a breakfast at Tiffany's moment. You know, you know, very. She's giving. She's that girl. She is that girl. She's, she would be that girl for me. <laughs> and now, <laughs> and now, something a little bit more difficult. <laughs> okay, here we go. To answer, uh, Martin is thirty two, which I think Martin feels like is late to uh, be coming out, mm-hmm. um, and is doing this for the very first time on their birthday with and it their family. And it sounds like it's a big kind of a big deal. event. Like yeah, everyone's like coming a lot of on your look, birthday. It sounds like Martin, there. and I'm going to just say this, I'm going to be very honest, you decided this This is going to be, this is probably going to be difficult because you decided to spring this on the bitches at the a very shocking time. Yeah. It's going to be something where I feel like there's going to be a lot of family and friends there. It's so definitely it's gonna be a moment. not going to be easy. But also, I want to say maybe have but a probably. friend that you've already told there yes knows what to expect don't go alone but yeah. then also if you do it in a big group like that are, is anyone going to cause a scene if it's you know because there's witnesses yeah that's okay true. That is true. it could be the perfect opportunity i would i would definitely get a friend though if, yeah for sure yeah i think i think regardless of whatever the day is is um Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be, and you cannot control the reactions of anybody that's in your family or any of your friends or what people will say. You're making a brave step in your life for yourself, doing what you need to do to make sure that you are very happy with yourself. And I think more importantly than focusing on what people's reaction will be, I think you should be focused on how you are going to be celebrating the rest of your life going forward because that's what's most important. Very that. And like 32 is a great age. I'm like, I feel like when I was 32 is like when I won Drag Race. (laughs) And my life was the best thing ever after that. So, um, you coming out of 32 might just be... 32 is is the year. year. It's the new 22. Oh my God, I live. (laughs) 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 You just start Sinking, no, oh no, but literally, like you're, you're 32. If you might feel like that's late, you have so much more time in front of you, and you're doing something that's going to like liberate yourself in a million ways. So just focus on like, and the people who are there for you and are going to love you through this are going to be there and they're going to love you. And maybe 32 is going to be the year you find out which bitches are real and which ones is not. Honestly, that's usually what happens. That's the tea. That's usually what happens when you come mm-hmm. out. Yeah. So it'll be nice to know who's real and who's fake. Yeah, period. Real? <laughs> and who's fake. Yeah. Who's real yeah. and who's fake. Yeah. Now, Ooh. Crystal, hit your verse. Oh. Who's real? Yeah! Who's fake? Ah! Yes! 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 yes. Martin, Martin, we love you so much. Thank you so much for writing in. Um, and I'm hoping and wishing you the best. And um, and just so you know, regardless of anybody else is like very proud of you on that mm-hmm. day, just know that over here at the pod... Uh, me and Heidi love you, so and proud. Crystal loves you too. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, Have honey. Fun. Now, you mentioned John Cena. Yes. And so yes, d- yes. Yeah. Mike, the candy, fully, got, the candy got sucked by the gas. Fully, <laughs> literally, <laughs> fully eating the candy and sounded like Mike Tyson. <laughs> I fuck my ass. Fuck your ass. Okay, Monet. <laughs> I'm fucking ass. I'm fucking ass. Okay, um, look, we but, talked about John Cena. Yes. So we always must. Always. It, oh. We oh, thank it's you. Take that out. Stay. Take it out, Heidi. I'm sorry, everyone at the pod. I'm sorry. I'm professional. Heidi, I don't know how many people told that you can multitask with things in your mouth, but those boys have lied to you. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. But now, um, now hey. <laughs> since we, John Cena, we are inviting you to the pod, darling. Please. We oh, this here. was a bad time to mention that because jo- we were in the middle of mentioning John Cena. I mentioned Felicio. <laughs> <laughs> This horrible timing. Not, not at the Just invitation. God, I'm sorry, timing. John Cena. This is why he's never going to come. We'll, we'll never mention that when you come. <laughs> I feel like he'd like it. You think? Yeah. Oh, I think. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, you know what? Heidi, let's let Crystal invite him. Yeah, Crystal. Hey, John. Um, you have two wonderful <laughs> admirers that would love to speak with you. Just a couple questions. Nothing serious. Um, just dinner after, maybe. Probably. Yeah. I love and that. a couple and, drinks. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and literally, John, we will pay for the first one. <laughs> That's we fair. will pay for the first drink. That's fair. 
of ours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've been making wishes come true. Yo, oh, baby. I wish we could black out tonight at the club together. Yes. That's what I'm wishing. The turn up we all deserve. No, we, literally, did you know that John Cena is now in the Guinness Book of World Records for like turning out the most make a wish wishes? No, I by, didn't know. By like over by 400. Like, yeah. By over 400. Like the three next person times is like That is how out. many people want to see him before they die. Yeah. Yes. That's, That's how many people want to see him on the pod. <laughs> People want to see John and people want to see no him everywhere idea. they can see him. Isn't yeah. that crazy? About that. We just talked about that, that last week crazy. on the pod. He's a good man. Yeah, He's a good, good man. man. Yeah, we don't just love him for no reason. We love him. It says, today, you know what? We're going to do something different. It says, who else would you like to see on the pod? I'm not even going to mention anybody. It's just John. Today is John Appreciation Please. Day. We love you, John. We love you, John. And before we go. Now, we want to say thank you all for listening to Hall and Closet. And more importantly, we want to say thank you to our very, very, very special guest, my Crystal. sister, Crystal Method. Crystal Method. Thanks Crystal for having Method. me. Oh my God, it's such a, <laughs> it's such a good time. I feel like I see you more than anyone else. So I'm just happy to get you up in here. I know. Yeah, thank you for being here. I'm like literally, y'all see each other. That's like you see each other all the time. All We've the been time. Wanting you to be here forever. Literally. Um, I wish I wish it would have been like a moment where you could do my makeup. I'm still waiting for that moment oh, to happen in my there life. There needs to be that. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I want to do everyone's. We need to do it. We should do it on like socials. Ha- yeah. Something ha- like on your TikTok maybe. Um, oh, on the TikTok. T, but well, speaking of TikTok, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter and whatever social medias there are at Crystal Method. Okay. Yes. And um, y'all can also make sure y'all check her out on a drag queen, a drag queen Christmas. I don't know if you don't already have you have your tickets or not, but Heidi will be there as well. So make you co- make sure you show up and you support my sisters, and you, um, get a little holiday cheer too. Get a little egg noggy noggy. Little egg noggy noggy. <laughs> the show's gonna be cute. I'm <laughs> telling y'all, and when I tell y'all, the show's gonna be cute, and especially when you I'd like no shade, Crystal. I'd have to say when I watching you do the show every night, I would just be smiling so hard from the sideline, like. <laughs> Because you would be like so committed, having so much fun, hitting the choreo. Yes, it's like a very, it's like so good to see. Yeah, it's very good to see. So make sure y'all check that out. And again, thank you so much for joining us at the pod. Ugh. I'm Jane Essence Hall. And I'm Heidi and Closet. Mm-hmm. And you can follow me on all of my social at Jada E. Hall. And you can follow Heidi everywhere at Heidi and Closet, except on TikTok where somebody stole it from her. And now you have to follow her at the. Heidi in Closet. Yes. But make sure you also follow our mom podcast home. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we don't do no punk shit over here, honey. Mm-hmm, thanks, so make mom. sure you follow mom at mom podcast. That's mom podcast with an S, y'all. Don't forget the S at the end. You said that with such mm-hmm. conviction, Jada. Because I love where I'm from, baby. And do. And if you have any tips for us or any like topics you want us to delve more into, you know, just shoot yeah. us an email at hallandcloset at gmail.com. That's hall and A-N-D closet at gmail.com. Period. And you also want to make sure that you are subscribed to this podcast on all of your podcast apps. If, that's, if you listen to on Spotify and Apple, subscribe on both. Both. Okay, because you don't ever want to miss an episode. Period. Duh. Mm. So, see you next week for, for more, more Hall and Closet. We love you. Ah! Chris, that was so dope. To listen to Hall and Closet one day early and ad free, sign up for Mom Plus at mompodcast.plus. Hall and Closet is produced by Moguls Media, aka Mom. Hosted by Jada Essence Hall and Heidi in Closet. And produced by Ingrid Walla. Editing and sound design by Margot Padilla. Executive produced by Willem Belli, Alaska Thunderfuck, Big Dipper, and Joe Cilio. Mm-hmm.